Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK. My name's MJ and today I'm reviewing Tomb Raider, the 2018 rebooted version with Alicia Vikander. So, first of all, just an overall did I enjoy it sort of moment of the film. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I thought it was pretty solid and thus because there are so few good video game adaptations, I thought that, yeah, it had some pretty decent moments and is, is certainly... Uh, in no way, shape or form one of the worst. It is actually one of the better ones. And I enjoyed it. I really liked Alicia Vikander. I thought she was a great Tomb Raider for the most part. I think where she was let down was uh, she just wasn't quite given enough. There wasn't enough sort of Tomb Raiding or action uh, type elements like that. Uh, the Discovery type elements. Um, and she just didn't get too much uh, <laughs> opportunity to shine. Uh, she was often assisted by other people and uh, that was a thing that slightly irritated me but it's it's a smaller thing in the grand scheme of things some of the acting is maybe a little bit ropey but as I say the main main thing of the film the main point of the film main person Alicia Vikander was very good one of the things that I liked about her the most was the very good portrayal of the actual sort of getting to grips with the new person that you are i.e. you know minor spoiler she kills people in this film um, but the first time she kills someone, she really struggles with it. She and she sort of has like a mini breakdown type thing. That's great. It's great to see that element of the character, and also the sheer peril in her screams were very realistic sounding. And they uh, again, they just helped to sort of connect me with the character uh, once again. And I thought that was great. The actual overall plot, I actually thought was all right as well. Quite an interesting sort of get to this place. Shit's gonna go down. Cool, quite a simple, straightforward um, story, and I thought that was good. Uh, the villains, not too bad, fairly, fairly good sort of um, smaller actors. I, I can't remember the guy's name. This isn't that type of channel where I go, oh, it's directed by blah. I will just tell you about things about the film. And now, I'm, now I'm reviewing this channel. What am I doing? Get back on track. Yeah, I thought the villains were all right. Uh, nothing crazy to write home about, but I will say that the film does quite obviously set up a sequel and I think that the sequel would have uh, some more potential not only in the villain perspective or villain from a villain point of view but also just uh, if they can correct the, the the few mistakes that they made with this film. As I say I think it it needs to give Alicia Vikander more to do uh, and just be a bit more exciting that kind of thing. Uh, that being said the uh, the cast of characters that they've also set up are pretty good there's a, a particularly good I will actually check the name of this guy, this actor. Um, there is a particularly good sort of sidekick setup or, or, or relationship. Daniel Wu. He was pretty good. And yeah, it was he was just a fairly solid film. Some of the action is directed quite well. I quite like some of the cinematography. There's some really nice uh, location pieces, some set pieces. Uh, I will say that one scene there was a lot of lightning and it, it was fucking giving me epilepsy or something. So I wasn't so keen on that. But overall... Yes, quite enjoyed it. There were definitely some flaws, some things that need addressing. Uh, this is, it sort of feels like it could have benefited from just copying the game a bit more. Uh, the recent sort of, what was it, 2015 reboot, something like that. The recent reboot series anyway, uh, which was amazing. I mean, I've never been a fan of Tomb Raider. Uh, I've actually actively disliked the video games. But that remake from a few years ago was just astonishing, absolutely blew my mind. And maybe they should have taken a few more leafs out of that very new book. But it has a solid foundation. Alicia Vikander, the main most important element, I thought was really good. I really liked her. She was endearing. She was powerful, strong. Uh, she just needed more given to her, basically. But I enjoyed it and I really hope that they do a sequel because I think it has a huge amount of potential. We have a fairly good foundation, just a bit of a shaky build up. I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10 score. Thank you for watching Movie Review UK. We're going to be doing some more videos soon. I know that we've not posted in a short while. But I'm going to be doing some things like uh, Invincible Casting type videos. And of course sporadic reviews. And of course when Avengers Infinity War comes out in but a month. Five weeks today I'll be seeing it. You can bet your ass I'll be reviewing that. See you soon.